Now, can we look at this example? Calculate the mean deviation of the frequency distribution below. If you look at this question, you discover there is frequency. So since there is frequency, this is the formula we are going to use. Summation F multiplied by the absolute value over summation F. If you look at the formula, you discover there is mean, our S bar. So for us to solve, we need to calculate that S bar first. So to do that, this is the formula for it. Summation Fx over summation F. So prepare table for it. You line up your X on this column. You line up your F on this column from the table. The next thing you find is Fx. What do you mean of Fs? F multiplied by X on the individual value in the column. 2 times 1, 2. 1 times 2, 2. 2 times 3, 6. 1 times 4, 4. 2 times 5, 10. Find the summation of it to give you 24. So our x will be 24 over 8 to give us 3. Remember I told you last time, you must write down the digit here. Must. You must write the total. It's a must you write it. Now, I know our mean. Go to the formula. Absolute value. So I'm going to get absolute value, which is x minus x bar. What is x minus x bar? The individual value of x, remove 3 from it. 1 minus 3, minus 2. 2 minus 3, minus 1. 3 minus 3, 0. 4 minus 3, 1. 5 minus 3, 2. What is the absolute value of this digit? The absolute values will be 2, 1, 0, 1, 2. Absolute value means remove the negative. Minus 2 will be 2. Minus 1 will be what? 1. Now, what is next thing in the formula? Absolute value multiplied by F. The answer of it, find the summation. So, absolute value multiplied by F. Go to the column of absolute value and the column of F. Multiply the individual element in a row. In a row. That is 2 multiplied by 2, 4. 1 times 1, 1. 2 times 0, 0. 1 times 1, 1. 2 times 2, 4. Sum it up to give you what? 10. Now, the summation of F multiplied by the absolute value is 10. Insert it in the formula. It will give you 10. Your total of the frequency is 8. That will give you 10 divided by 8 to give you 5 over 4.